ओके सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज स्विच पोर्ट प्रोटेक्टेड सो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अंडरस्टैंड वेयर वी नीड टू कन्फिगर स्विच पोर्ट प्रोटेक्टेड वट इज द यूज ऑफ प्रोटेक्टेड पोर्ट सो सी इन दिस सिनारियो इन दिस नेटवर्क माई फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट इज दिस यूजर कैन एक्सेस इंटरनेट बट दिस यूजर कैन नॉट कॉम्युनिकेट विथ लैन यूजर मीन्स पी सी वन शुड नॉट कॉम्युनिकेट विथ पी सी टू पी सी थ्री पी सी फोर इन द सेम वे पी सी टू कैन कॉम्युनिकेट विथ पी सी वन पी सी थ्री पी सी फोर सो दिस यूजर विल नॉट कॉम्युनिकेट विथ इच अदर बट ऑल ऑफ दिस यूजर कैन एक्सेस इंटरनेट और माई सेकेंड सिनारियो कैन बी लाइक दिस माई रिक्वायरमेंट इज सपोज हियर इज माई मैनेजर ऑफ कंपनी दिस इज पी सी ऑफ manager and this user should communicate with manager but this user can, can't communicate with each other right this port can communicate with this port but this port can't communicate with each other okay so if you want to stop communication between two switch port or multiple switch port you can configure protected switch port protected let me show you practically here in if i have one topology as you can see over here right so suppose this is my isp this is my isp router and uh, these are my two lan user okay or this is a computer of manager this is manager and this, these are my employee right so i want to stop communication between my employee my requirement is this two user can communicate with this user but these two user can't communicate with each other right so here i will configure this ip address 192.168.10.1 here 10.2 here 10.3 by default all of these user can communicate with each other right so we will configure switch port protected on this switch see first of all let me configure ip address on router so go to r1 first enable configure terminal interface f0/0 say no set and ip address is 192.168.10.1255.255.255 sorry ip address is 192.168.10.1255.255.255.0 exit let me configure ip address on user 2 that means on this router okay so here we will configure 10.2 interface f0/0 say no set and ip address 192.168.10.2255.255.255.0 exit let me show you this user are able to ping 10.1192.168.10.1 yes okay let me configure ip on this router so okay enable configure terminal interface f0/0 say no set and ip address is 192.168.10.3 255.255.255.0 exit now you can see this user is able to ping both the machine 192.168.10.1 also okay and 192.168.10.2 also fine now i want to stop communication between 10.2 to 10.3 my requirement is 10.2 can communicate with 10.1 10.3 can also communicate with 10.1 but 10.2 can't communicate with 10.3 so see here this is my e0/0 right we don't need to configure anything on this port simply i will configure protected on this two port and always keep in mind rule is two protected port can't communicate with each other 
right protected port can't communicate with each other a protected port can communicate with unprotected port but two protected port can't communicate fine so if i will make this port as protected port and this port is as protected port so both are protected port so these two port can't communicate with each other right and always keep in mind a protected port can communicate with unprotected port so here on switch let me configure enable configure terminal interface range ethernet 0/122 fine and switch port protected switch port protected this is command to configure protected fine now how you will verify let me maximize it see so interface fast ethernet not fast ethernet ethernet 0/1 switch port see here protected is true but if you will run this command on 0/0 so protected will be false there see protected is false so 0/1 and 0/2 is now protected now if i will ping from router from 10.3 to 10.1 see i am able to ping 10.1 but i can't ping 10.2 see fine so two protected port can't communicate with each other okay guys anyone have any doubt in this topic no is it clear to everyone okay great